Hey guys, Ajax here back with another episode of Yoko Watch Jam Y Academy. Last time we solved the final Amazing 7 mystery. Not only that, we got a little sneak peek of what we would be happening this episode, and we saw Dober and Nayu talking in front of the pyramids where supposedly the third Y circle is. So it looks like he's trying to intercept us from putting the medals in and hopefully unlocking the next cat yokai, which is Miketio, which like I said is a transformation of Bakera, uh, Garomi, and Brupon, but we're gonna see what happens this episode, because like I said, we are relatively close to the end of the story, like, it might just be this episode, the next episode, and then we're done, who knows, hope you guys are excited, I know I am, but of course, they restarted us, like, so we have to walk to class, uh, it said that we were late, but we still had, like, maybe 10 in-game minutes to get to the school, and it's really not that far, but anyway, let's do this, let's get it over with. そのようだな。生徒会業務は通常通り進めるように。あ、そうですね。進捗会長は行動が大胆になってる。で、トークバウトアウトアウトアウトアウトアウトアウトアウトアウトアウトアウトアウトアウトアウトアウトアウトアウ
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Depending on how long this takes. Where they at? We'll just teleport outside the school, and then uh, we'll see. But yeah, that happened. Basically, see, they were. I, I guess they were going to go help Ranto, and they're like, mm, nope, can't let you do that. So there's multiple ways we gotta go. Okay, so there's four, yeah, four different arrows. So let's let's get through two all of these. The closest one. Is this one right here and then there's one in the shopping area and there's one over there in this far off area like near the snow that I've not been to surprisingly oh no this is the train station yeah my bad uh, this is the train station one of the um you can actually use it to get you know around the school faster there's only like four different spots yeah the monorail basically one of the spots you can go to the student council building that's always been available to us but i never went so give me a moment i gotta find which one is the student council building because i'm not too sure actually i could probably look at the map because all the way up here the student council building is right here so let's see if we can get there i just saw the text but hopefully we should really get over there this is it i think <clears throat> Excuse me, but that you could always go to the student council building. I just never did. Here we are, and here we are. One more mailbox, and boom. We were always able to go up here. I just never did because we never needed to till right now. So let's get in here real quick. And it's actually really cool looking. I like this. And you can actually see pictures of them. There's Ranto, those guys, her, him. I kind of forgot the girl's name already. Kanemi? I, I guess. I, I kind of forgot already, so forgive me on that. Alright, let's continue the story. And here he is. I mean, she is. Nayu. I was thinking the other two guys were in. I mean, the other three student council members were in here. It was a trap. She was baiting us so Dober can come to us. Or we would come to Dober. She baited us. We were like we were like fish and she was uh the worm on the fishing pole or the fishing line. Looks like and basically we're getting intercepted by Doe before we could do anything else. And Jinpei summoning Goromi. Why? It that's random, but Goromi said nope. Garomi left, she actually was like, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm not doing that. Oh my goodness. Man, I love this music. Uh, I know he was talking about the... He was talking about the uh, cat yokai, like uh, Onri. He, uh, not Onryu, he was talking about Garomi. Because, you know, again, Garomi, Brupon, and uh, Miketio. I mean, not Miketio, bro. Bakera, Garomi, and uh, Brupon make Mi Miketio the true form. They were just split into three.
Also, I gotta say, his voice actor is really cool sounding like he sounds like an actual villain. And look at his height compared to everybody. Like, he is tall. Can just Charlie Brown football kick us out of here. And he just remembered his friends. And they're gone. Alright, so we gotta get to the pyramids and fast. Alright. It's it's game time, y'all. Now we really gotta get prepared. We gotta make our way to the pyramids over there. Oh wait, not yet? Cool, we just gotta get to the school. So I guess I'm not sure what we're about to do. Are we about to give a warning to the principal? Because throughout the entire story, in the anime, a lot of the times people question, why are us kids doing all the fighting? And then Ranto a lot of the time mentions adults can't deal with the aliens the way the kids can. It's, I mean, I guess since they are YSP users, it makes sense because you don't really see any adult YSP users. So I guess it only makes sense that the kids would be able to. Because, you know, uh, Kumiko was only, I think, like 14 when she designed the uh, YSP watch. So keep that in mind. Alright, so we're here to warn the principal of the news. A lot of walking around in story this episode. So next episode will probably be like getting into it. And the thing is, I think they're just now telling him, oh yeah, uh, Nayu, uh, she's evil. She's an alien. The thing is, again, Ranta was like, it's best not to tell them. We'll deal with it. Also, Jinpei's giving an inspirational speech. So it looks like Jinpei just lightened the mood a little bit because he gave them like a little inspirational speech. We can handle this. We got this. We are the YSP club after all. Oh yeah, it's time for a battle with the aliens to get started, man. Woo, man. We're getting into it. Because, you know, this game starts off just like you think it's going to be an average school year. But no, there's aliens, man. We got the school getting attacked by meteor monsters. All that. This episode... 
We'll use Kengo Benny Mar. We're going back to our roots for this one. So we gotta make our way to the pyramids. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. There is a fast travel right here. So I, if it's not the place, then I'll just teleport somewhere. But I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be going here now. Oh man, but we're getting into it, guys. We are getting into it. But yeah, Jinpei was like speaking inspirationally. He's like, "We got this. We can handle it." Oh yeah, here we are, deep in the desert. I've only ever been here a couple times in this gameplay, at least. In my other gameplays, I rarely went over here. All right, so it's like, cause once we go, once we go in here, we won't be able to come out here for a very long time since we're getting into the end game. Like, yeah, we won't be out here for a long time, so we gotta step in here. And look at the whole design, it's like a nice little cool pyramid space. But yeah, it was warning us saying like, uh, once you step in here, you won't be able to leave for a long time, so please be wary of that, make sure you are prepared. There we go, just want my camera to focus a bit more. But we're, we're uh, fine because uh, I have them leveled up and I have food. For mostly Jinpei, because that's who I use the most. And Fubuki can heal, Komo can heal, so we're relatively okay. Oh yeah, and basically, he's just tasing us. Oh man, so he never wanted to play fair. Dude just wanted us down. That looks like everyone's taking a nap, but it's much more serious than that. And there's Nayu. I think he's talking about how he needs the medals that he took. I think he's about to take the medals from us because. Where again, this is a Y circle, so they need the metals to activate it. Yep, they took all of our amazing seven mystery uh, metals because they need them to activate the Y circle, of course. And now it's just Jinpei, Bakera, Garomi, and Bruta Punter here. They're worried about Jinpei. Because he's the only one still left here. So Jinpei is... He's talking about Mazera. He's actually kind of uh, hypnotized to where he's stuck saying that. So, like, because they're saying Mazara, remember, he's the one, the top alien, basically, who bosses all the others about, around. And now, I guess, now you put him under a spell type deal. Now he's stuck saying that, and he's kind of like a statue and won't move. You can see, he's doing the arm motions and everything. He's not in the right mind at the moment. They talk about impact to hopefully, like they're trying to cause impact that will hopefully break him out of it. So she tried shooting him with her cork gun on that she carries, but it didn't work. So 
So Rupon was like, we need to cause enough impact to break him out of this. He's saying, uh, Rupon's saying us three need to work together to cause enough impact to break Jinpei out of this. Oh, here they go. And now Jinpei's back to normal. He's like, what's wrong with you guys? Why are you guys attacking me? They're like, he's back to normal. He's like, what are you guys doing here? They're like, happy's okay. So, yeah, they had to cause enough impact to break him out of that. And lucky enough, they were able to, because Brupon said if we use all three of our powers at once, we should be able to break him out of the trance. And they did. And now, let's go find our friends and save them. So basically, we gotta look for these little things on the wall. And each one of them lead to like a different like location within. And that's where we can find our friends. Like one over there, that's where we can find one of our friends. So we hope... So basically, what we're gonna be doing, like next episode, or uh, the episode after that, we're basically gonna be freeing all of our friends from these prisons. And then we gotta take on Dover. So, I'm going to call it quits for this episode. We're 22 minutes in. Thank you guys so much for watching. So, next episode, we're going to we're gonna have to save our buddies because they they're they under the same mind control as us. And we need to save them from the grasp of Mazera so we can all go take down Dober. And, you know, hopefully stop them from uh, opening up the Y circle. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Yoko Watch Jam Y Academy.